Welcome to Learn at Ease. In this video, I will explain the secondary structures of protein. I will also explain psi and phi rotations around the peptide bonds. So let's get started. Here, a short peptide is shown in a linear representation with its N and C terminal. In my previous video on characteristics of peptide bond, I have explained various bond angles that occur amongst different bonds of peptide. Where most importantly, I mentioned that, peptide bond is planar and rigid. Thus, it means that, these bonds can rotate clockwise or counterclockwise, without changing its bond angles. In my previous video, I also explained the resonance of electrons in the peptide which provides a partial double bond character to a peptide bond. Before, understanding secondary structure of protein, let us first understand the psi and phi rotations that can occur in a peptide. Here a peptide is shown. The bond that occurs between the alpha carbon and the carbon participating in peptide bond, can rotate clockwise, or anti-clockwise, and it is denoted by, psi rotation. Also, the bond between the nitrogen participating in the peptide bond and alpha carbon, can rotate clockwise, or anti-clockwise, and it is denoted by, phi rotation. Here, in two-dimensional animation, the bond angle seems to be changing, but in reality, the bond angles remains constant, bonds only rotate. Now, in the animation a linear peptide is illustrated. Linear peptide also means, peptide is in its primary structure. If the peptide bonds rotates by psi and phi rotation, peptide will not remain linear. The new 3D configuration attained by peptide bond rotations is called the secondary structure of protein. Briefly, secondary structure of peptide is broadly classified into alpha helix and beta sheets. Beta sheets can further be classified into parallel and anti-parallel sheets. Let us first understand about alpha helix which is shown here. Alpha helix is the most common spiral structure of protein. Alpha helical structure was proposed by Pauling and Corey in the year 1951, which is regarded as one of the milestones in the biochemistry research. The alpha helix is a tightly packed coiled structure with amino acid side chains extending outward from the central axis. The alpha helix is stabilized by extensive hydrogen bonding. It is formed between hydrogen attached to peptide nitrogen, and, oxygen attached to the peptide carbon. The hydrogen bonds are individually weak but collectively, they are strong enough to stabilize the helix. All the peptide bonds, except the first and last in a polypeptide chain, participate in hydrogen bonding. Each turn of alpha helix contains 3.6 amino acids and travels a distance of 0.54 nanometers. The spacing of each amino acid is 0.15 nanometers. Alpha helix is a stable conformation formed spontaneously with the lowest energy. The right-handed alpha helix is more stable than left-handed helix. Proline in the peptide can disrupt alpha helix. Acidic and basic amino acids such as aspartate, glutamate, lysine, arginine, and histidine also interfere with alpha helix structure. Now let us see the next secondary structure of protein, that is beta sheets. Beta sheets can be of two types. The first type is parallel beta sheets which is shown here. These can be formed by two peptides aligned in the same direction, that is from N terminal to C terminal, held together by hydrogen bonds. Second type is, anti-parallel beta sheets which is shown here. These can be formed by two peptides aligned in opposite directions, or same peptide making a loop, held together by hydrogen bonds. Let us see some important facts about beta sheets. This is the second type of structure proposed by Pauling and Corey after they proposed alpha helix, hence it is named as beta. Beta sheets are composed of two or more segments of fully extended peptide chains. Beta sheets, may be formed either by separate polypeptide chains or a single polypeptide chain folding back onto itself and are stabilized by hydrogen bonds. Apart from alpha helix and beta sheets, there occurs other types of secondary structures. These are beta bends, and other, are non-repetitive, less organized structures, are also found in proteins. With this I would end this video on secondary structures of protein. 
Information illustrated in this video will enable you to understand tertiary and quaternary structure of proteins, along with Ramkindran plot. These topics I will cover in my upcoming videos. Stay tuned to my channel. Hope you enjoyed my video. Feel free to share, like and comment. Subscribe to LAE.